every day. Hundreds of graphic images and messages are sent to TV actress Emily Attack. What drives these men to do this, and what can be done to stop them, is the question she poses. Every morning I see an image of a naked man that I didn't ask to see when I woke up. Hello, good people. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Emily Attack, uncovering the shocking truth behind explicit messages. Before we get started, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. So stay tuned and sit back, relax, and enjoy. The 33-year-old actress, presenter, and comedian Emily Attack experiences hundreds of internet flashes per day. She claims it's the greatest form of disrespect. I think you're easy to access and you're up for it, is the ultimate statement. For years, Emily has received explicit messages on her social media accounts. Emily is the subject of a BBC documentary on the subject. Over lockdown, though, their frequency and aggressiveness increased, becoming even more sexual in nature. She claims, I felt like everything was just steadily chipping away at me. When Emily was chosen to play Charlotte Hinchcliffe in the well-known Channel 4 coming-of-age comedy The Inbetweeners, she was just 17 years old. Emily explains, she was the popular girl at school. The problem is that even though it's a fictional persona, people unavoidably link you to the roles you perform. Sense of blame Emily claims that she started getting unwelcome attention from some men at a very young age. She claims that in an effort to keep her safe, her loved ones would advise her to change her behavior, such as refraining from wearing skirts or makeup to school. The only way your loved ones can regain control of it, she claims, is by changing you. All of that has a place, so I began to search within. I've always placed all the blame on myself for that. This sense of guilt followed Emily into adulthood. I'm hesitant to discuss this in public because I post bikini photographs to Instagram, discuss sex on my programs, and I'm a flirtatious and cheeky person, she claims. But you asked for this bad attention, what do you expect? Will be a common response from others. Do you sit there wondering if it is your fault? Is this something I'm disclosing publicly? Emily has always used humor as a bulwark to downplay the messages, but she claims it's no longer humorous. She claims that the severity of it is that young girls are receiving messages like this on Instagram. If this was your daughter or niece, what would happen? Once the laughter has subsided, the conversation will become more serious. According to research from 2020, 76% of females between the ages of 12 and 18 had received dick shots or unsolicited nude photos of boys or men. Emily was astonished to learn that every girl she met from a secondary school claimed to have received sexually explicit communications online. The fact that older males online are approaching young teenagers astonished me the most. She says, I had assumed the girls would blame the boys at school for being a bit out of control and on their phonies girls would blame the boys at school for being a bit out of control and on their phones. Describe yourself. In a post on her social media, Emily demanded an explanation from the males who messaged her in an explicit manner. I examined my emails, and there were none, she claims. These men spend their entire lives abusing me and saying the most heinous things. But when I answer by saying, well, I want to hear from you, let's chat, nothing happens. What I did experience was a flood of women coming out and sharing their experiences. Emily claims that she had never before brought up the subject of internet abuse with her parents. And when comedian Kate Robbins is given an example, she becomes extremely distressed. She claims that she is concerned for both her daughter's physical safety and psychological effects. Heath, Emily's father, notes how, despite the messages coming from several guys, it almost seems like they are from the same personality. Emily sent two men who frequently sent her sexual content direct messages to find out more about the traits of these people. After reading Emily's message, one of them banned her right away, and the other responded by blaming Emily, stating he was trying to garner her attention and that his communications were because of her reputation. In an effort to comprehend the thinking of these individuals, Emily met with Jamie Klingler, co-founder of Reclaim These Streets. Jamie organized a vigil in response to Sarah Everard's murder, and soon after that, she started getting obscene photographs, rape threats, and death threats online. She asserts that it is unimportant what we do or wear. It's about them wanting to have the power to quiet and control you and them wanting a piece of you, the speaker said. The goal of Professor Jane Moncton Research Smith is to prevent homicides, which are acts that result in the death of another person. According to her, patterns of violence against women progress from seemingly minor sexual assaults to more heinous crimes. She advises always reporting online abuse to the police in order to get the perpetrator's name recorded. Professor Moncton Smith explains to Emily that rape and homicide are not entry-level offenses. There will be indicators, behaviors, and patterns before they arrive, but the majority of these indicators, behaviors, and red flags will be defended, rationalized, and excused, and some blame will be placed on the victim. Thanks for watching this video. If you love this video, please like the video and comment with your thoughts. Also, hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like this.